Okay, we have a uh, looking at question number two of December 2022, Business Mathematics and Statistics. The question reads a uh, differentiate between identity matrix and vector matrix, giving an example in each case. Now we have uh, identity matrix is a matrix given is a given square matrix of any order which contains on its main diagonal uh, element with value of one contains on its vertical diagonal element with a value of one while the the rest of the matrix elements are equal to zero. It's an, a matrix uh, identity matrix. You say that there is a given square, given square matrix. contains uh, on its main sorry diagonal on its main diagonal element the value one while the rest while the rest is zero it can be presented in this manner the example can be like this one of our uh, identity matrix it can have one zero Zero, 1 or 3 by 3 3 by 3 matrix you can have 1 0 0 0 1 0 you can have 0 0 1 this is what you are saying that this particular diagonal is 1 while this one that one is 0 the same applies to this particular diagonal which is one while the vector matrix the vector matrix is a matrix which has only one row and one column a matrix which has only one row or one column vector. matrix has only one wrong or column like two four three or but we can have three five six in that order question number b the manufacturer produces 10 units of product R and that units of product S at a total cost of 17,000 in week 1. Manufacturer also produces 20 units of product R, 40 units of product S at a total of 26,000 in week 2. Now we are asked to determine the cost of producing each unit of product R and product S using the matrix method. The first thing here we are going to present this particular data in form of a simultaneous equation. 
are going to have uh, that uh, uh, we have 10 R producing 10 units of R we are adding 30 units of X at a cost of what? 17,000 then again, the manufacturers of producers, we have uh, 20 R, we are having 40 units of S at a cost of 26,000. Right, so that is the maintenance equation. Now we can present this starting a matrix form, uh, but I'm going to have 10, 30, I'm just picking this particular element in that one. So we have 20 and 40, which is R S should give us 17 and 26 respectively in that manner. Now the first thing we need to establish here we are going to determine what we call the determinant. Determinant of our matrix. How do you determine the determinant? We are going to mark this particular diagonal of the matrix, which is going to be 10. We multiply by 40. We minus 20 multiply by 30. This more 10 by 40 we multiply should be getting 400 minus 20 multiplied by that you get 600. The variance of the difference we get negative 200. That is our determinant. Determinant is negative 200. At that point, we can establish what we call the inverse of this particular matrix. Inverse. Inverse of our matrix. Just a minute. We are going to have a week in the change. The signs that is 10. 40. This is how we write the inverse by the reciprocal of the matrix. It is going to be 1 over negative 200 into the ones that I had circled. They, they change the positions. The 40 is going to exchange with 10. We have here 40. Then we have 10. The remaining the other diagonal, which is if the signs changes, is going to be 30, negative 30. And we have negative 20 in that order. This is what we call the inverse of a matrix. Now we can use this particular matrix. I will name this one becomes, for example, my A. That is X. That is B. Uh, by A multiplied by X, we are getting the matrix of B. We can find the inverse of A, which will be A negative raised to power 1. A x is equal to, we multiply this particular inverse both side. It's going to have A raised to power 1 multiplied by B. And when you take this inverse, you multiply by this matrix, you get what you call an identity matrix which I'm we skip and now we just we are going to take this particular inverse we multiply directly by the matrix of B by now we record this particular data is going to be R S is equal to 1 over negative 200 we have uh, 40 negative 30 have negative 20 10 we multiply by 17 
and 26 uh, it's supposed to be 26 how we can simplify this particular matrix so by now I have R S we can take this multiply by that it is going to be now into bracket 40 over negative 200 this multiply by that also is going to be now positive negative and negative will cancel for example to be negative 30 over negative 200 and down here we can have ne we multiply this by the figure we get negative 220 we divide by negative 200 and equally here we are going to have 10 over negative 200 we multiply by 17,000 and 26,000 at this point now if we uh, divide this one and this one we cancel for their one for here it's going to be negative 1 over 5 also when we divide this point it is going to be uh, if we divide this one it's going to be 0 point 0 0.15 that is negative negative can cancel the same applies to this one we have a negative negative cancel zero zero in that case we are going to have zero point one and then equally here we get negative zero point zero five is equal to seventeen twenty six Now we can find the value of x, sorry, the value of r. If I take this particular equation here, that will be zero point negative zero point two, that is zero point one five, then we have zero point one, then negative zero point zero five. We are multiplying by seventeen thousand then 26,000 when we multiply the matrix is surely the vertical horizontal then diagonal which is we follow this one this one is uh, wrong and the column now we are going to take In this case, we'll have a negative 0 0.2 i multiplied by 17,000 plus 0 0.15 multiplied by 26,000. Then again, here we have neck, uh, sorry. That is uh, 0 0.1 we multiply by 17 minus 0 
multiply by 26. When you take this, multiply by this, you get 3, 4, that is negative. Uh, and when you take 0 0.15 multiplied by 26,000, we are going to get 3,900. Also, the same applies. This multiplied by that, you are going to get 1,700 minus this multiplied by that, you are getting negative 1,300. This is R S. Now eventually you can get a value for R and S by just subtracting that is negative 3,400. When you add to 3,900, you get 500. Then 1,700 minus 1,300, you get 400. Therefore, the value for producing uh, the value for R is going to be 500 and that's the value the production unit of S is 400 units and then finally we have part C part C the question is in our basket there are 7 red balls and 5 green balls three balls are selected from the bucket without replacement without replacement full stop required represent above information in a tree diagram then roman number two question is asking we are meant to target the probability that the three balls selected are of the same color. Now, how do we present the tree diagram? This is what we do. Uh, remember, this is a basket. Let me draw this particular basket. We have this is the basket. This basket has three, two balls of different color. We have the red. Then we have the other color which is green. Now, the probability we have is the total number we have 7 over the entire unit which is 12. And here we are going to have 5 over 12. Now, when we, draw, we select the ball for the first time, we are going to have the probability in this manner. But if we select red, the other one will be green. We are picking one of red. The balls for red will reduce from 7 to 6. We are going to have 6 over 11. Now the red green balls will remain the way they are. We have 5 over 11. Same applies to this one. If we pick the green ball, this is red. This is the probability for green. We are picking the green balls. Red will remain that it is going to be 7 over 11. But the green balls will reduce from 5 to 4 over 11. This is the second selection. Then we have, because we are told that, that the balls are drawn what? The balls are selected from the basket without replacement three balls three balls now the first was here the second the third let's try to find the probability of the third ball here we have red green red green red green red and then also we have green. We select the red ball. Now the probability of the red balls remaining is going to have 5 
over 10. This one will remain, the green will remain where they are 5 over 10. When we select here the green ball, reds are going to remain 6 over 10 because we are picking the green. The green will reduce from 5 to 4 over 10. Right? Um, for green, we select the red ball. Here we will reduce. It's going to have 6 over 10. And then the green balls will remain, which is 4 over 10. And then finally, when we are picking the green balls, the red will remain here. It's going to be 7 over 10. And then the green balls will be 3 over 10 so that when we take this probability 7 over 10 plus 3 over 10 we should be getting 1 equally 7 over 11 plus 4 over 11 we should be getting 1 the probability is always 1 or 0 now this is the tree diagram that we are asked to prepare in Roman 1 then Roman 2 find the probability that uh, the three balls selected are of the same color. Now, for example, this particular probability, let me extrapolate it this manner. This probability here you have your first ball, remember was red, second ball here was red, and the third ball here was also red. Probably two, the first ball here was red, we have red, second ball was green, that ball was red. Okay, probably two, here we had the first ball was red, second Sorry, uh, this, this one we have, uh, this one is correct. Okay, here the first was red, second red, and that green. Red, red, and green. Okay, here is red, green, red, red green red okay and then we had just said that, that fourth one was red green and green red green green the fifth one was red green green red green this is green sorry one, two, three, four, I guess that's enough. Then this one should be. Okay, this one is first was green, red, green, green, red, red. While this one we had green, red, green, green, red. Green, and then second last the balls that were collected we hit green, green, red, and then the last one was a green. I think the first ball collected, second was green also, and then the third was green. Now the probability we are being asked find the probability that uh, the three balls selected are of the same color probability that three balls selected are of the same color now the first ball selected that are of the same color we had red 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 we are going to take the probability of that and then also we had green 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 of this one how do we present it we write the probability of the first ball was seven over twelve we multiply this one six over 11 
we multiply again the other rate it was 5 over 10 5 over 10 this is red 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 and then we have the green 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 which was uh, the first was 5 over 12 5 over 12 we are multiplying the probability 11 this one 11 sorry 4 over 11 we multiply this other one which is 3 over 10 now how do we get this one this one 1 is going to be done twice this one will be a 1 this is 2 now 7 multiplied by 1 by 1 we get 7 then 2 by 11 that's 22 multiply by 2 you get 44 correct and then this one here will be a 1 is going there four more times we also we can cancel 4 and 4 here 1 and then 5 here 1 5 into 10 twice now this probably is going to be 1 multiplied by 1 by 1 we get 1 and then 1 multiplied by 11 that is 11 multiplied by 2 22 now the probability of getting either red it is 7 over 44 and the probability of getting green balls alone it is 1 over 22 that's what you are needed to calculate in question number 2 of December 2022 and then you get or you scoop the entire 12 20 marks